Well, hello, and how you doing? Just polishing up this uh, absolutely fantastic Telecaster made by yours truly, and uh, basically it's finished. I'm just going to put it together. I've uh, oiled this body and with true oil, this stuff, true oil, and let that go hard basically over a couple of weeks. And uh, then I flatten it all out going through uh, all the papers like starting at 600, 800, thousand and then I uh, then I start on the micro mesh pads these pads they come in this size and uh, oh, twice as big and they go from uh, 1500 to 12,000. And after I've done that, got the whole guitar sanded to 12,000. Then I go over on the uh, automotive uh, Maguire's compounds. And uh, I have got a buffing wheel, but I'm too scared to use it. I've used it a couple of times now, and I've just burnt everything with it. So I've got to get a bit more practice in with that before I use that. And I uh, think it might have something to do with that. I've got the wrong pads on it. So... Uh, I've already done the rough compounds on this and this is the uh, step two which in my plan is the, uh, the third one because I start with uh, a uh, other cleaner and then first I start with this one then I go to the uh, Maguire compound then I go to the number do and then I go to the wax and that's how I finish these uh, oil bodies I do I'd rather have uh, I do like them but it's hell of a lot of work it's like really it's too much work if you want to sell them you know you don't get your hours out there I can tell you that it's just ridiculous how much work goes in so, uh, that's that. This is the step two. And, uh, you can basically just leave it like this. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that I'm a bit of an idiot. Go on and on and on and on and on. You know, and the first time you get it out of the case, you're probably going to scratch it. So. So that's the number two. The other thing you've got to remember when you're doing all this polishing and stuff is you can have a good light. You can put another light on. And also what you could do is... Um, what you've got to do is remember that you've used this rag for the number two. And this rag for the number one, etc. etc. So now I've got the wax on it. And 
this guitar is going to have uh, Texas Specials. First, I wasn't going to put a pit guard on and everything, but then I, in my stash, I found a really nice tortoise shell pit guard that really suits it, so I'm going to put that on. And uh, it's just chrome hardware, and it's going to have a four. Um, point select the switch on it with uh, so you can put the pickup sit in series or parallel so that'll be good I'm uh, been looking into these var very tone uh, switch systems and uh, I think I'm going to start to try a couple of them in uh, what that is, and also face switching. I'm getting into that as well. So. I think I've got to take some buffing lessons from somebody because uh, I can't spend my time doing this. It's too time consuming. And the time that it takes you to uh, oil this, you could have made uh, two bodies. This is some really nice uh, polishing cloth I got off my dad. So, uh, he's into the uh, French polishing. Let this gas off like and then uh, give it another go. Already done the back. That's it.